good morning i uh, must be thinking that uh, why after such a excellent uh, scientific deliberations on hpv and uh, liquid biopsy and automation of cytogenetics why this has been maybe to be, uh, to make you a little bit lighter uh, you must be overloaded now with three different very very exciting scientific lectures for me and this is actually the organizers have assigned me that you please don't talk anything else just focus on amp because perhaps they have understood now is if we have taken a vow to work on molecular diagnostics if we are committed to be a molecular pathologist it is mandatory we cannot afford not to know about association of molecular pathology it is a hygiene believe me it is hygiene just to become a member of amp and or to even know about amp and i'm very happy that at least this much of sense came to the organizers and they wanted amp to be highlighted mainly from the education point of view so that my youngsters my young friends cannot at least understand because this is very important that unless until we are convinced we will not do anything so this is a good moment for me to share a few of my experience as well as to let you know the basic understanding what is amp and why to become a member of amp so uh, i remember uh, uh, 27 years back 19 correct me fed if i'm wrong 1995 perhaps amp started yeah 94 okay so that was the time when all those molecular people who understood that like dr priya today morning was telling that how exciting it it is for her that when she sees that all those research things are being used for the standard of care by the clinicians and believe me this is a very very different kind of excitement and experience so that whatever you do and you see that it is translating manifesting in the field and that was the time when in 95 94 when all molecular such assays where nothing was available all over the world so many such molecular scientists and clinicians came together and created this forum and the main intention was to give a structure and a leadership to the emerging area of diagnostics that is to molecular diagnostics which is really fantastic and it was my great good fortune that i am associated some extent since then because i had lots of passion for the molecular diagnostics and i was sure that this is going to rule in the field of diagnostics so during this 27 years the vision mission has evolved the leadership of amp they have worked extensively but let me tell you the vision at the moment is to provide global expertise global expertise in molecular testing that drives patient care i love this vision and when it comes to the mission of um, amp that advances the clinical practice science and excellence of molecular as well as genomic laboratory medicine through education innovation and advocacy why to enable highest quality healthcare this is again very very you can relate to it that how important it is when we talk about healthcare and to bring that high quality of healthcare what are those small small parameters that are required and how molecular pathology significantly cont contribute in this area i did a very very recent uh, statistics of uh, this whole um, association activities as well as the and you can see that at this month this is now nearly 3000 members 2900 members worldwide who have deep expertise in inherited conditions oncology infectious disease and or bioinformatics mdpsd is also a hot topic in india at the moment so let i also try to 
evaluate that what is the percentage of members in uh, MDs and PSD in uh, MP. 44% are MDs or MD along with PSD. 36% are only PSD. And students, residents, and fellows, their training membership, which is free. Knowingly, I showed you so that nobody should feel that, hey, I'm MD, I should not become a member, or I'm a PhD, I should not become a member. What is the tagline here is, are you working in the field of molecular diagnostics or not? It is very, very important to ask that question is not just to be attracted at that fashion or this kind of terminology, but to see that if I'm really working in the basic molecular diagnostics, then also I should become a member of molecular diagnostics. When we do the statistics, currently, again, whatever data I'm showing here is of this month, 15% are non-US working of all those members. And it, it represents from 57 countries. However, 100%, 100% of the members are involved in molecular diagnostics. That's what I always feel, which is very important. I just want to take you to the very important highlights. I'm not here at all to tell you the details of AMP. In my mission statement, I showed that AMP works through innovates and educates and advocacy. So let me tell how AMP innovates. AMP innovates through its clinical practice committee, its working groups, and subject matter specific subdivisions. AMP works to innovate clinical practice and improve. What are those special activities? Again, without going into the detail of activities, let me just touch base that because we have the leadership of MPAI sitting here. So if we are to completely, we understand AMP, we can align all those kinds of staffs in MPAI also. One is the clinical practice guideline development, which is so important for the whole world. Next is sharing validation resources. You know how important it is in molecular diagnostics or molecular pathology, the importance of validation. Next, improving access to reference materials. And they have that provision of sharing the reference materials and publishing case reports, creating and aggregating resources and emerging threats such as SARS, COVID, and monkeypox, spearheading new technology into high quality clinical care. And this last one, I cannot tell you that all the technologies that I have seen till today, everything, I always feel that it comes through AMP. Without that, it is not possible even to understand any technology which is used in molecular diagnostics. This is a very, very short snapshot on how AMP innovates. Now let me take you how AMP educates. AMP educates again through its training and education committee, program committee, working groups, also AMP works educate current and future molecular professionals through few activities I'm telling you, or for few ways and means. First is the online education, which is known as AMPAID, which is a robust catalog on demand, learning certificate program, courses, micro learning modules, and topic of specific educational journey. Most important is the AMP annual meeting and expo. I was just now thinking while these lectures were happening, why our hall is not full? And I remember how the AMP meetings, all the halls, people stand on the staircase and the people, they just sit on the floor. How much of keen interest and how they are benefited from each and every lecture, how the expo, you will not find even any participant who is not visiting and interacting with the technology per se, whatever is explained. So that all is the passion and the interest of the person to get engaged with. And I tell you, working in a molecular diagnostics, just to visit MP meeting itself is a great, great accomplishment. Third is the international live events. It is now happening in other countries, MP Europe, and MP Global, and it all depends on us 
Are we ready? Do we have interest? If yes, we have to really create that kind of roadmap, how to hold AMP in India. Then emergency courses, MGP review co course and get input. Molecular in my pocket reference guide and much more. Few examples I can show you. These are the sample. One is utility of cell-free DNA in the clinic, online programs and pharmacogenomics. And third, these are the recent uh, live events which are planned for 2023. I thought just to let you know at least of the recent programs so that if you are interested, you can think about it. One is the molecular genetic pathology, which is a virtual review course, which is planned for recent May 16 to 19. AMP Europe, which is getting very popular, which is planned for June 16 to 20th. And the annual meeting of AMP is in November and planned at Salt Lake City. So these are the three important events of 2023. Now let me take you through the how MP advocates. MP advocates through the work of its economic affairs and professional development committees. MP advocates for you, your practice, and the patients you serve. How? One is advocating for fair re reimbursement and coverage for appropriate molecular testing. May not be very much valid for our country. Second one is educating patients, payers, and lawmakers on the important role that molecular professionals perform in patient care. And third one is monitoring and influencing public policy affecting oversight of molecular diagnostic testing. Saying so, how to become a member? Just visit the website www.amp.org. It is for students. It is for residents and fellows, all of them, and they can join AMP free. However, even if I say that I know it is very important if I can tangibly put some points that what kind of benefits I'm going to get if I become a member. This is the general question which comes to all of us that, hey, if I do become a member, what is that apart from the annual meeting? I will get registered. But is there any other benefits that I get if I just become a member? So these are the few points which I, I have uh, captured. One is online subscription. If just by becoming a member, one gets the molecular diagnostic journal. Second one is discounted page charge and open access fees for corresponding authors. This is also a very big benefit. Third one is discounted to the registration fee for annual meeting, for Europe meeting, for global Congress, and all other kinds of related meetings. Next, which is the which is priceless, is CHAMP. Access to CHAMP. If you ask me that what is my major step when becoming a member for so many years, mainly because of CHAMP. It is such a beautiful priceless benefit for each molecular diagnostic worker. I cannot tell you. Any question that we want, we have, we do not have answer. We just put it in the chat group and we get answers next day from all over the world, various different kind of perspectives. So here, MP members online community for discussions, networking, asset development advice, policy updates and other member generated content. So this is really a great, great kind of advantage that we get. Next is AMP continuing education, reduced fees or privileged access for GMD CME program on molecular diagnostics. So molecular genetic, I'm giving you a few examples, molecular genetic pathology review course, molecular pathology webinars, just a few days back, there was a very, very great webinar on this. Third one is the molecular 
pathology free CE is included in many AMP educational webinars. Another one is there are so many people, they have lots of uh, very different kind of uh, arguments which we cannot put. And even if we put, nobody listens to. We do not know where we are going to share our views. And advocacy and public policy representation, this actually amplify your voice on issues that impact our field. And MP membership directory. This is again a very valuable networking resource. Even if you get interested after, some of you are already member, I'm sorry if I'm putting it in this way, I'm not at all telling that there are so many people who are already member here. And those who have not yet become member and want to know that, yes, I'm convinced, but what is the price? Because all the time it comes that, hey, registration get nine. So how much money I'm going to pay? So that also I have done it for you so that you go from here with absolute clarity. The registration fee actually is 210 US dollar. But for India, India is classified as a lower middle income country. And we really worked on it. And the registration is $110, which is nothing. The kind of benefits that we get, $110 is peanuts if you become a member of AMP. Also, sorry, also let me tell you for the technicians, like the technologist members, including technicians, non-doctoral scientists, specialists, analysts primarily working at bench in a non-directory position, the registration is 75. So it is not even $110, this is again $75. I told you that it is uh, present in 54 countries, and uh, but there are eight international affiliates all over the world. Initially, there are only three affiliates in 2013. And you'll be happy to know that India, Molecular Pathology Association of India was the first affiliate. First means along with two, because in 2013, there are three affiliates were formed. And now there are eight affiliates all together. And every month, there is an interaction online throughout the year. And uh, there are lots of discussions happens under AMP. So if you are interested to become a member, then you can complete your application. You can email to amp at the rate amp.org or just go to the website and apply online www.mp.org. Saying so, if, even if you have so many questions which come afterwards and you want to ask, we have at least five persons from US who are MP members. Dr. Federico Monjan was the president of AMP in 2017. He is here. You can meet with him, ask more questions. Dr. Reddy is there, Dr. Kotkal is there, Dr. Uh, Megha Joshi is here. There's so many people are there and also from India, there are so many other, even I can see Dr. Dhanalakshmi is here. She also uh, is and Dr. Mishra is here and Dr. Neeraj is here. So many of our own friends, they have already benefited by becoming member of AMP. Don't think that I am here to talk about AMP to just uh, make you encouraged to become a member for some benefit of AMP. AMP doesn't want you to become a member. I really want through MPAI, my all friends, they get to know the benefits that they receive by becoming a member of AMP. Once this is clear, then you all will get that kind of channel to become a member. With these words, I would like to thank you all for a present hearing. Thank you.